My name is Stephanie Agnew. I'm with the Instructional Media Center at Mississippi State University Libraries. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Illustrator CS5 to create a sphere-shaped logo. Let's begin by opening Illustrator. With your document open, you're going to go and grab the rectangle tool and come over, click on your document area, and you will key in the size for your rectangle. For this rectangle, it's going to be 4.1667 inches for width and 0.2778 for height. Click OK. We're going to look at our colors palette. We're going to choose our fill and choose any color you want. We're going to pull our stroke to the beginning and we're going to give that a no stroke. We're just going to move our rectangle up a bit. We're going to click up on object and go to the object tab and click on move. When your move dialog box appears for your horizontal position key in zero, your vertical position you will key in 0.4167 inches. For our distance that's 0.4167 inches. Our angle will stay the same. Click on your preview button and click copy. Now press command D or press control D if you're using PC, command D for Mac four times so you end up with six rectangles. Grab your selection tool and select all six of your rectangles. We're going to go over to our shear tool, double click, your shear box will appear on your shear angle. You're going to have six degrees. For your vertical axis, you're going to leave that alone and click OK. Now we're going to grab our rectangle tool again. We're going to line up this rectangle so that we go from this point drag over to the top of the other side and down. Go up and put no fill and you want to add a stroke. We'll go over to our Pathfinder panel. We'll select all of our objects. Go to Pathfinder and Crop. Now you're going to go up to Window we're going to click on Symbols so that our Symbols panel will display. Get your Selection tool and grab your new symbol over to the Symbols palette. In the Symbols option, you can give your symbol a name. We're going to name this one Ribbon. On the Type, use that drop down and click on Graphic and click OK. Now the symbol has been added to your Symbols palette. Now we're going to go and we're going to get the Ellipse tool come back out to our document and draw us a circle. Okay, We're going to give this a stroke, I'm not worried about a fill. We're going to grab a line tool, draw a straight line through our sphere. We're going to go get our select tool, select both objects, go over to Pathfinder and select the divide key. Come back to your object right click and choose ungroup. Once you've ungrouped, click on the left side of the object and hit the delete key on your keyboard. With your half selected, go to effects, 3D, revolve, and once your revolve box appears, you want to make sure that your revolve angle is at 360. We're going to click on map art, click on your preview button, we're going to go up to our symbols option and scroll down until you see the ribbon that you created. Go down to scale to fit, click on shade art area and invisible geometry. Click OK to close your map art box and OK to close your 3D box. Now you have a great looking sphere. I hope this tutorial has been helpful and informative. 
please continue to visit Mississippi State University Libraries websites and view our other software tutorials that we hope will help you master all of your software challenges.